I'm only one call away. I'll be there to save the day. Superman got nothing on me. I'm only one call away. Call me, baby, if you need a friend. I just wanna give you love. Come on, come on, come on. Reaching out to you, so take a chance. No matter where you go, no, you're not alone. Today we are so fortunate to meet Vanessa Sapp with North Shore Academy. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for letting us be here today. Absolutely. Thank you. We want to get to know a little bit about you, where you're from, where you grew up, your family, things like that. Can okay. you tell us? So I was born and raised in Illinois, and I spent most of my adult life in Virginia until I moved here in ten years ago, about ten years ago. Um, and I would say this is where we call home. How many children do you have? I have four children. I have uh, one son and three, three daughters. My middle child, who has since graduated from school, why we started the school. So tell me about that. What, what did give you the initiative to open your own school here? So um, we had a child that was struggling in school, and um, she just wasn't receiving what she needed in the public school. And we looked at our options and we would have to either drive to Wilmington or drive to Jacksonville, and um, that wasn't really an option for us. So uh, she was working with Dr. Baker, who's my curriculum director here now. Uh, she was working privately with her, and we started talking, and so why don't we bring a private school here um, to help those children who need a smaller classroom setting, who need more one-on-one. -on -one. And so is that what you specialize in is giving more directed one-on-one -on -one attention right so we kind of split half and half we either have students who are very accelerated and so they're not getting what they need in the public school because it's not moving fast enough for them and they get or, bored and they get bored some of them yes okay. absolutely or we have students who are struggling who need more one-on-one -on -one. um we try to keep our student to teacher ratio about one How many teachers do you have here? We currently have five teachers. Is there a tuition schedule that we can find on your website as to how much it costs to attend the school? Um, there is. There's uh, several different options because we do have um, parents can apply for a state scholarship, which is called the Opportunity Scholarship, and um, that is for income. That's income based. We also have what's called a disability grant that parents can um, apply for. And that's for students who have an IEP. They can um, apply for that, and that extra pays for school. And, school. and, and what is an IEP for people that don't know <laughs> sure. what that is? Um, that's an individual education plan. 
So many students, once they get to about third grade or so, um, if they've been struggling, um, they'll be assessed and they'll, an IEP will be written for them. And um, that actually happens often in the public schools. And then at that point, a parent can choose if they'd like to switch them over to a private school. So there are options to help with financing Absolutely. for private education yes, in St. Fairy. Do you have lunchroom facilities? Do you have playground? What all do you have besides the classroom? Right. So um, this is technically um, our second, only our second full school year. So um, we do have playground equipment this year. The students last year raised funds for that through, um, we did a Halloween trunk or treat, which was very, like, we really enjoyed that here in the community. And um, we will have playground equipment out here in September. We have one of the dads putting it together for us. So he's our military father. He's out of town for three weeks. So when he gets back, he's going to put it together for us. For lunchroom, they actually, we either sit outside, we have picnic tables, or they sit at their desks. And bring their lunch. It is the lunch is provided. provided. Yes. yes, bring your own lunch. Just bring it. Yes. What curriculum do you use? We strongly believe that students need to master reading and math. Because once you master those skills, the science, the social studies, all those other things, Followed from math. Exactly. So um, we spend our full mornings are just on math and English language arts. And then our afternoons are spent on the different themes, which is how we refer to it. And that will be maybe social studies for three weeks and then science for three weeks. And that's how we integrate our arts and our music into those as well. Um, a lot of times the students find um, it's easier to remember facts when they put a song to it. And we do a lot of hands on, we use a lot of them. I firmly believe that a student learns better when they do something rather than just see someone else do it. Or told. Or told. So practice makes perfect in everything. Right. We try to apply everything um, to real life, too. We try to let them see how this applies in real life. It's great. a lot of talk about the Common Core method. Do you all incorporate that as part of the curriculum as well? We do not. Um, we actually use, for math we use Saxon Math. Um, we're firm believers that if you can get to the correct answer, however it is you get to that answer, as long as you understand that that's how you got your answer, we're looking for the correct answer. So, a student very intelligent, um, that was struggling with public school because they wanted him to show his work. And he could do the work in his head. But he so, can't do it on paper? But he can't show you how he does it on paper. Okay. So is that fair to assess a child because they can't show you how they did it, do it even though they know how to do it? So um, we don't really agree how they get there. It's that they understand how they, like that they get there, and that they're accurate and they a student came in, let's say maybe a third or fourth grader that was already doing the Common Core method. Would you stick with that? Would you show them a new way, or what? What would you do? Sure. Um, most of our students are have moved here from public schools, and they were actually struggling with math. Mm -hmm. So we start with showing them our method, and okay, our goal is for every student to find what works for them. If we have a student. That's, that doesn't pick up on the way that we've shown them, then we're going to go to another way to show them. So we might end up there if that's where that student needs to be. Our goal is for every student to learn the way they to find out how every student learns. And we're able to do that because we keep everything in small groups. You know, um, Even though I say our teachers are about one to five, some of our small groups are one to two at times. Um, sometimes it's one on one. And we have the luxury of doing that. What is your enrollment now? Um, this year, I think we'll be at about 30. Um, last year was our first year, and we had, well, our first full year, and we had 16 students. And so I'm, I'm pleased that this year we've doubled to 30. And um, I, um, I hope next year we need to buy a new building. <laughs> when you first thought about opening this, were you afraid? Was it something you'd already done before? Is this new? Right. What gave yeah. you the courage to branch um, out and say, I'm going to do this? Sure. Um, it was absolutely um, nothing I'd ever done before, uh, but my daughter needed it, I guess. So 
my heart was in the right place, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what led me. Dr. Baker, she's my curriculum director. I, I reference her a lot. I wish she could have been here. Um, she absolutely is a vital um, role in everything that we do. She has been the administrator of schools. She has um, been a teacher. She has many years of experience. She has her EDD. So, um, and where is she from? I didn't know. Is um, she from here too? I believe she's from the Charlotte area. How'd you find her? Yeah. It's, it was, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. Small town. So Vanessa, we're lucky because your daughter's here today, right? Yes. You want to show her off a little bit? I do because she <laughs> had attended school here for several years, so and she has graduated now, and she's going to be going to the high school. What's her name? Carly. Hey, Carly, come on over. Let's meet Carly too. You just graduated eighth grade, and now you're heading to Dixon. Is that right? How do you think the two years you spent here helped you prepare? to go back into public school? Um, when I got here, I was really struggling in um, a lot of classes because they pushed me through in um, public school. So when I came here, they went back for me. They went back to where I was struggling. And they made sure I knew what it, you know, what it was. And I learned so much here. I am very grateful for my mom to open up the school because I would be here. I would still so it gave you the one-on-one -on -one attention to be able to gain the knowledge and the confidence that you were, you had grasped the material that somehow you missed in public school. That's great. That's so important because if you miss one thing, everything builds on it. And then you don't know the next thing. So it is so important when you're behind to just step back, get caught up, and then you can go forward. Are you excited about going to high school? Um, yes, I am. Al, they have built my confidence so much and they have brought me ahead. So I know I'm here. That is great. Well, I wish you the very best. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you so much for having us thank today. You. Wish you the very best in your endeavor here. Thank and you. And we'll get the word out for you. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So if someone's interested in getting their child enrolled, before school starts this year, what should they do today? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, call me directly or go to our website, which is www.nshoreacademy.com, and uh, send in a pre registration and I will reach out and contact you. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know. are supposed to do all oh, yeah